Hi, I'm Nana Girl and I want to be a superhero. And this week, the superpower I'm trying to get is super space travel. Okay, science superheroes of the solar system, I am calling our first official team meeting. Once we figure out how to get into space, we might need to avoid some fast moving dangers along the way. Danger, I hear you say? Yes, danger in the form of comets and asteroids, and they could be flying at us at great speed. Comets and asteroids orbit the sun and they're really funny shapes and they're parts of the solar system that were left over from when it formed. So comets are made up of dust and ice and rocks, whereas asteroids are made up of clay and metal. Now, while they could be dangerous to us as we fly through space, they could also be really interesting for us as scientists. Asteroids and comets haven't changed much in their 4.6 billion years of being around. So they could tell us all about the conditions that might have been around when the solar system was formed. Humans recently landed a remote spacecraft which was called Rosetta on a comet. That's pretty amazing. But for us to study them, I think we should have to catch them and then bring them back to the lab. I think it's time for us to build a comet catcher. For this experiment, you will need a square of paper, string, scissors, and some foil. So start by folding the opposite corner to the opposite corner on your square of paper, making a triangle. Now keep the open part of the triangle at the top and take one of the bottom corners and you're gonna fold it across to the other side in a straight line here. And you're gonna do the same with the opposite bottom corner. It's gonna go over and make a straight line here. We're gonna make a shape that has one, two, three, four, five sides, which is a pentagon. And take a look at this triangle on the top. This is now important. We're gonna fold it over and we're gonna fold back one of these triangles here. And then we're gonna turn it over and we're gonna fold back the other triangle like that. Now here's the important bit. You'll see inside here, you've got one of your triangle flaps that has a hole. You're now gonna tuck the top triangle into that hole to make a little pocket like so. And what you'll find with your two folded down bits is if you open the middle, you have a little pocket here. So this is gonna be our catcher. Now it needs some things to catch, so we're gonna need to put some string in here. Take the bottom and snip a little notch in here. I have a piece of string here that's about 40 centimeters long. We're gonna feed it through this little hole that we just made. And then you want to tie a big knot at the top. Okay, there's a big knot. Pull it through, make sure it doesn't fall all the way through. There we go. Okay, so now we have our paper cup and our string. We're gonna need a comet. So take the other end of your string and place it in the middle of your foil and then scrunch the foil up, trapping the string in there. Here we go, here is our comet. Actually, if it's made out of metal, it's probably more like an asteroid. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Can we catch a comet with our comet catcher? Well, there's only one way to find out. You're gonna hold the cup like this, and then you're gonna see if you can catch your comet. <gasps> Look at this! But this actually needs to be a competition. Like, how many can you catch in 30 seconds? But for a competition, you're gonna need a competitor. Nana no, Nana no, girl, where are you? Oh, she's in my pocket. Uh, do you want to play? She says yes. What do you mean it's too big for you to hold? Hmm, it is. Okay, well then why don't you pretend to be the comet itself? I know, we're gonna attach you to this and see what happens. Here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What's it like down there? Dark? Lonely? Probably a bit like the space then. Maybe that's actually good training for our space mission. I tell you what, I'm gonna leave you in there to space train while I go get some hmm, ice cream. See ya.